Welcome back, everybody, to Naked Dino Man, a stunning story stenciled into 72 stegosaurs. Today is a pretty important day, a pretty momentous day. Today, we finally get to move out of our temporary house that we built down there when we decided to move onto this cliff face overlooking the lake. So I have completed the, the first room that we built yet last, I almost said yesterday, but last episode. We built a storage area and then like a cooking refrigeration area. Two rooms on top of each other at a cool angle and bam, look at how awesome it looks when uh, everything has been finished off. I've replaced all the thatch with stone and wood. I painted up the walls. The angle looks nice. The roof looks awesome. Uh, I'm super duper happy about this and we can finally get rid of Mr. Temporary residents down here and have more room for things like storing our dinosaurs we might set up a farm so let's uh tell you what let's grab a pteranodon and i'll give you a short tour and some aerial views look at how man this just looks so cool the angle looks awesome i really like the way the roofs turned out uh, i used a, a similar idea as over here with partially uh, partially flat partially peaked and that just worked out with the way the overlaps worked so that, that flat part is flat because there's something on top of it. This part is flat because of that rock preventing me from uh, creating the peaked roof. So it, it kind of like it just designed itself once I had gotten to a certain point. And I'll give you a brief run through. I don't remember exactly how much I had done last episode. I don't think I had put the roof on. And I don't know how much I had moved in yet. Uh, I think I maybe have put this stuff down. But we've got five smithies. Three forges, yeah, refining forge, that's what they're called. And then I have eight mortar and pestles, and one fabricator, and then a lot of storage containers. I've moved everything over, except for maybe like one thing, one storage chest worth of random stuff. Uh, everything's been categorized, and I have four extra chests here at the bottom. Eventually, I'll probably put a ladder in the ceiling, going so I can go up and down without uh, going outside like this. So this is the upper level. It's got nothing in it yet. We haven't moved in. We need to make refrigeration bins, which uh, we're going to get to that. But the object for today, the goal is we want scuba gear. I am very close to level 75. When I hit level 75, we can research scuba gear. And that is going to allow us to harvest stuff like oil and pearls and explore the depths of the ocean so much better. We'll be able to stay underwater for 75 minutes. And I'm really excited about that. I haven't put any points into oxygen so far. And uh, finally, that's going to pay off, that investment of not being able to swim underwater. Here's our old house. Almost totally empty. I've got this random storage locker full of just some, uh, some odds and ends that I haven't found a home yet, a home for yet. This preserving bin and a little cooking pot um, and the bed and the campfire. We're, I'm probably going to keep all that here. Until, uh, until I have replacements in the room, this, oopsie daisy, in the room above. That happens a lot. I don't actually come up here too much anymore ever since I, uh, built these guys and had a place for my flyers. No need to actually come up here, but we can start breaking this down. I would like to make farms. Um, but first things first, we need that scuba gear. Because there's a lot of... We need oil and pearls, and we need them in large amounts. And so the, the scuba gear is going to allow us to more efficiently gather materials for other things. And I also want to make a paint gun, uh, which will allow us to paint stuff faster. Oh, that'll be so nice. It is really time-consuming to paint all this stuff. And uh, in particular, all of the wooden roofs, they're all, they're all supposed to be black. The columns are supposed to be black. The exterior footpaths are supposed to be black. I haven't done any of that yet, because I've been waiting on the spray paint can. Um, and to make this, the paint can and a full scuba suit, we're going to need 80 polymer. And 80 polymer. 80 polymer. Each polymer is, uh, let's see, it's two cementing paste. So we're going to have to take our toad into the swamp and kill some more bugs to get that. And it's also uh, two obsidian. Obsidian is found on the mountaintops around where a lot of the metal spawns. 
So, if you've never seen it before, obsidian are these dark-looking stones here, and we gotta mine them up. This uh, isn't the most efficient way to do it. Once I have a mining outpost established, I'll have an ankylosaurus at that base, and I'll have, like, smelteries there, or found foundries, whatever the things are that smelt up the, the metal. I have all that stuff, and I'll have a fleet of Argentavis. What is the plural of Argentavis? You would think it would be an Argentavi. Is it, um... They're a vulture. What is a bunch of vultures called? Like, a, a bunch of crows is called a murder of crows. A bunch of vultures would probably be... Is it a plague of vultures? Would it be a plague of Argentavi? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna be picking this stuff up. With my pick, basically after we get this next step done and we get the scuba suit, and we're gonna start working on the refrigerators because I need a bunch of uh, electronic circuity things which take pearls, which are under the water. Uh, so the scuba suit is going to be a good intermediate step before we can uh, work on the refrigerators. And this is not nearly as good as using my ankylosaurus, but um, for now, it'll be fine. Get all the obsidian we need, and then we'll go do some swimming, look for some pearls. All right, I got all the obsidian, and immediately after doing so, I remembered you can now kill little penguins in the snow area for organic polymer. So I actually don't need to farm up cementing paste or obsidian. We can just get it uh, by the penguins, so I guess maybe we'll do that next after this. But we do need some pearls, so we're gonna take out one of our guys. Let's just check on their food bar levels. I think one, I had like a level eight here who got tamed just because he was near other guys when I was taming uh, the higher level ones. I think he starved, because I came back one time, a lot of their hunger bars were low. Uh, he was gone, I think he died, but that's all right. Uh, these are the guys that matter, these two. So we've got not an aardvark and aardvark. They both seem fine. Uh, we sh let's see, do you have any meat left on you? Probably not. Nope. Well, I guess we'll have to try to kill a few things. You can fight with these guys. They're just not very good at it. But we got to try to track down some pearls, which are kind of hard to find. I think we need to find uh, kind of like the, the barrier reefs. I think that might be where the pearls are located. Ten pearls, and I'll never have to come back down here without a scuba suit. All right, found some pearls, found a few clams really deep underwater. This is why we need the scuba suit, so I can barely do this. On one breath of air, I'm probably gonna take some suffocation damage. And let's just hope there's no plesiosaurs or anything like that down here. Oh, I see more, there's more clams right around the corner. Awesome. So I think you don't need, yeah, 17 pearls. Oh, that's way more than I need. Oh, we're done. Yes. Okay, back up to the air. But, but since those other ones are so close, I think I'm gonna go ahead and snag them. There's no plesiosaur and no uh, no sharks nearby. I think we can do it. Hopefully I don't die and lose my stuff, because that would stink. But since they're right there, let's just go ahead and grab them. This is why we need the scuba suit so bad, man. I want to explore down here. I'm so excited to explore, but we can't. <laughs> I can only stay down here for like three seconds. There's more. Oh, look at how many there are. Any baddies? I don't see any. There's also those angler fish down here. I have not run into those guys yet. Okay, grab those. It's just like picking up uh, berries, basically. In the early game, you just run by and click E. Oh, can I get them all? Oh, I'm gonna suffocate. I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy. Oh, I'm about to run out of air. Uh oh, how much health can I? Oh God, oh, look at my health go down. Get on the guy, go up and eat food. When you eat food, you, you get health regen. Oh wow, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Eat the food, <laughs> chug it. Okay, eat. Oh my gosh, oxygen. Wow. 20 health. If I hadn't been chugging all that food, um, yeah, I would have died. That was really close. My bones are broken, but I got 150 pearls exactly. That is what we need. So now we just need to level up, I guess, to accelerate the level up process. We should go kill some penguins. All right, so before we head off to the ice mountain to exterminate the penguin horde, we've got to craft a special item. My character, I've been building my character in a weird way. When I first started the game, 
I looked at all the stats, and I looked at what stats people put their points into, and I noticed nobody put any points into Fortitude at all. It was an unused stat, so I immediately said, I am going to base my entire character around Fortitude, which allows you to tolerate the heat and the cold, and also gives you some resistance against torpor effects and poison and stuff. So that's why I run around naked, because I wanted to try a Fortitude character just for fun, because nobody else uses it. So I've got, just standing here, a hypothermal insulation of 254 and a hyperthermal insulation of a 197. That's in that's a lot. Uh, but even with all that, I still have not put enough points into those into this fortitude stat to be able to go into the snowy area without freezing during the night. Um, I've 34 of my levels, 34 of my level ups have gone into that. Uh, okay, so this is what we're gonna make. We are going to make. What, what do you need when you need a little bit of courage? You need some man pants. Uh, this is going to be our um, cold weather man pants. And once we level up and we can make some scuba leggings, that'll be our uh, warm weather man pants. Where we will be... Um, actually... No, they're both for cold weather. Yeah, okay. We only actually need uh, the ones. I wonder if these fur leggings will substitute for the scuba diving pair. Okay, so 254, 197. 327, 164. So I'm, I'm warmer because I'm wearing fur legs. Fur on my legs. But my um, hypothermal insulation went from 254 to 327. So that's 73 points. Pretty good. All right, here we are into the snowy area. There is one of my first starter houses before this place was covered in snow. The original beacon tower thing. And then right up here, this is my little taming platform where I come to uh, basically bask in the glow of a campfire. And lo and behold, I've got the pants on and uh, I'm still cold. I've got 214. It's dropped a bit because it's colder here than it is at my base. And the, the temperature does fluctuate, though, so uh, most of the time I should be okay. We gotta locate some penguins and maybe pick up some beacons when we find it. I think the penguins are going to be located on the uh, the ice. Okay, now I'm merely chilly. I'm no longer freezing. Somebody's got a boat right there. There's a T-Rex. Uh, why is there a T-Rex? Oh, that's Ethos. Why is there a T-Rex in the uh, the snowy area, I'm not sure. Maybe they should have a woolly T-Rex for this area. That would be kind of funny. And he is, uh, well, he's just having fun with the locals. I think we, maybe we just have to fly around the edge until we uh, get to the icy area on the other side. Oh, okay, found some. Let's see, one bite, one kill? No, two bites. Two bites, one kill. Where's the body? The body disappeared. Oh, there it goes. Okay, nine organic polymer. Oh man, that is so much easier than crafting the stuff. You know, making some of these compounds before they added the animals that provide them really would have been a pain in the butt. I'm glad I missed that. Back in the day, before they added the frogs, cementing paste was really hard to get. So making huge bases or some of these really expensive contraptions that requires it, um, I don't even know how you would go about getting that much cementing paste. Let's kill a few more. And then we'll maybe we'll do a little tally just to see how many we've got up to. We need 80 of these polymers. And this is way faster than using my pickaxe on the stupid obsidian. All right, let's uh, recover some stamina. Look in the inventory. Not that. Imp Whoa, okay. Sorry. All right, looks like we've got a friend here. Hey, buddy. And you're dead. Oh, level 16. What were you even thinking? So, we have picked up in this short little time. Oh, they go in stacks of 10. That's annoying. Organic polymer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 55. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Okay, 55. We only need 25 more, and we are set. Although, I'll probably just stick around here and kill stuff until we level up. Because that's... Probably a good thing to, a good way to get, gain experience. The other way to gain experience is to craft things. So I might go back to the base and craft up some more construction type stuff, some walls, some ceilings, all that kind of stuff. 
That's how I've got the majority of my levels. There's also a bunch of crystals here. And I am freezing, but uh, my health isn't dropping that fast. Freezing can mean different things. So right now, oh, look at this. I'm losing 0.1 health per second. That's actually pretty good. Normally, it's much faster than that. So I can hang out here for quite a ways, quite a while. And, oh, is that a, that's a nice cave. I don't know if we're prepared for that. Maybe we'll get the purple beacon. Maybe we should check out this ice cave. I'm kind of curious. This is probably, we're probably not quite equipped to take on whatever is in here. Oh, and looks like the opening is quite narrow. Okay, let's just poke our nose in. I, I'm on a mission to get this scuba suit. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, stay put skis, Firehawk. And I'm no longer freezing. Okay, this is really cool. This is the first time I've been in a cave. I think that is somebody's pteranodon. I know they've been trying to glitch. No, that's bad. Okay, uh, let's um. Why am I not moving? Okay, let's uh, let's leave. I've got the combat sound. There's all kinds of nasty things in these caves. I don't want anything to do with it yet. We will explore that at some point. But right now, we're on a mission. So I managed to finally level up, and we actually, we need to craft this stuff fairly quickly, because what I didn't realize right off the bat is that this organic polymer stuff is organic. Yeah, it's gonna spoil. It is going to spoil. I've got a ton of it. Let me just sort of take all of it off of my bird. And I don't think the timers change. I don't think it's like meat where uh, they, the animals act as a mini preserving bin. I'm getting like 1430. And, uh, well, this one's about to run out. But it doesn't matter if the time changes or not. What What's important is that the uh, timer is going to run out, so I need to grab all this stuff. What's my weight at? Uh, this stuff's pretty light. I'm probably fine. Is that all of it? I've been killing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Look at all of the meat on him. I've even dropped tons of meat on the ground a couple times. And I got a blueprint for a lamppost, and I found a uh, apprentice metal pick. 140% damage and a hundred and something durability. That's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna dump all the stuff in here. Actually, let's level up first. So, level 75. Um, yeah, fortitude. That sounds like a good plan. All the way down at the bottom, we shall find the scuba suit. Oh, really? Okay, so we've gotta unlock this other stuff. Hide hat, hide shirt, Hide boots, and I've already unlocked the hide pants. Okay, so let's uh, let's learn the hide stuff. If they didn't make you, um, oh, cloth, cloth, cloth. All right, I gotta learn all the cloth stuff. So this feature, I think a lot of people misunderstand its purpose. If the higher level stuff did not have prerequisites, people would go through the entire game hoarding their points until they got to the end game and would never learn anything. And so what it does is it allows you, it forces you to enjoy the content all the way through by making sure, uh, by making sure you don't skip the early and middle game and save all your points for the end game, hide. Okay, that was cloth we just did. Now we need to do the hide. And I've got tons of points and I save them just for moments like this. Now we should be able to do some of them. No, we need scope attachment, metal water reservoir. Okay, we can do this one. There's the flippers. We don't really need to do all these. I'm just doing them for fun. And eventually, once I can make the some more complicated stuff, there is a, uh, a type of food you can make to reset all your points all together. Homing underwater mine. Wow. Okay, that's not what we're after. So we need metal water reservoir. Okay, cool. I was probably going to make one of these eventually anyway. So that'll allow us to learn uh, the scuba tank, the most important part. But the scuba mask will also be good because it lets us see clearer underwater. Scope. 
Okay, scope attachments has no prerequisites I don't already have. That's good. Okay, so many things I got to learn. So it seemed like I had a ton of points just sort of stacked up, but I've used, what, like 200 or something just learning this stuff? Um, which one was I learning? This. No. That. Okay. That should be all of it, and I think I have all the ingredients for it. So let's combine these into full stacks. They will... Oh, they, they're right. They only combine into 10. I guess that's why they only go up to 10, because of the fact that they decay. If they went higher than 10, the stacks would last uh, much longer, right? So I guess that makes sense. Otherwise, it would just be far too easy to get tons of the stuff and just uh, keep it forever. You need to use it in a timely fashion, since it is so easy to kill those penguins. But uh, I like the uh, I like the idea. There's an easy way to get it, but it doesn't last long. There's a slower way to get it, but it'll last forever if you get the non-organic version. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into armor. Scuba. What are we missing? Fiber. Bam. Okay, let's do the pants. Oh, we have to turn it on, right? And it runs on gasoline. Craft item. Craft item. Craft item. And craft item. All right. And while those are getting made, I will go ahead and put the rest in here. I guess I should probably try to craft something with all this stuff before it runs out. Okay, so I didn't manage to use all of the polymer because I've run out of other stuff to make with it. I did manage to make a whole bunch of canteens, which are an upgraded version of the water jar, and I made, more importantly, a spray painter. And also a, a second spray painter, because I'm probably going to die somewhere and lose the dumb thing. Okay, let's try this guy out. I think we will probably... Next episode, we are going to do some experimentation with the scuba suit and do some deep water exploration. Really excited to do that. There we go. Okay, so this water tank full doesn't even fill up the canteen all the way. And this is lighter than the water jar. Water jar you can drink from twice. Water skin, I think only once, and that leaks. Um, this one should be better. We can actually check. Did I just drink all of it? Or no, I can't drink anymore because I've uh, filled up my water. But that took out half. It looks like you can drink from it four times. All right, let's grab some dye. And let's try out the spray can. Hopefully we can paint all these roofs black and save ourselves a lot of time. What I'm kind of curious about is uh, if it'll just spray the entire thing one color or if you can select from... I guess we do this, maybe? Yeah. If you can select the different kind of parts of the item, for instance, this thing, most of the bricks are magenta, and then the wood there is painted black. And I should probably grab a flyer, just so I can get up. Let's go up to that roof. Okay. Here we go. This has been a long time coming. Spray. Oh. Okay, how do I... How do I enable and disable all that? I tried to hit... What about scroll wheel? No. Right click? Ah, okay. So you hold down the right mouse button, or whatever your alt fire is set to, usually right mouse, so that the spray painter gets turned like that, and then you can use the number keys. So for the roof, I think at least right now, I might give it some highlights in white or magenta, but for now, let's just try spraying it. Bam! Oh, that's so nice! Oh, this is so much faster. This is gonna save me so much time. It is ridiculous. Wow! The, the normal spray paint, uh, or not spray paint, but the normal spraying mechanics where you have to hit the thing, or painting mechanics, not spraying mechanics, the normal painting mechanics where you gotta hit the thing with the paintbrush and then select and click and select and click and select and click. It's extremely time consuming. Look at this. Okay, so I just want to do some and then just fly up for a look at it from a different aerial view. See how that complements the overall feel of the place. 
I want this to look like a Decepticon Death Fortress. Let's grab a faster flyer than our Argentavis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Death Fortress incoming. All right, uh, one, one last thing. Let's try all these columns. Is the sun about to set? I want to see the view from the lake. Oh, wait. Okay, so I've got to re-enable all those. Okay. There we go. We can probably also do animals like this. I'm not sure. And I'm spent. Did I run out of dye? I just... No, I didn't. Okay, it doesn't automatically re-dye itself. And now we've got... Okay, that's annoying. We've got to re-enable all these, but that was only one piece of dye for all of that. That's far more efficient than the default mechanics. Uh, if you use a paintbrush, you don't get anywhere near that amount. Take that! Stone column. Get an update. I don't think I can climb up from being down there without a bird to fly back up with. So uh, let's just do a few just so we can kind of get a f get an idea for what it's going to look like before I paint everything in one big go. All right, there we go. Okay, so where did I leave my bird? Right there. Oh, man. This is... This is going to make building this base so much faster. Sun's going down. Let's take a... Oh, come on. Let's take a look from out here. Oh, yeah. Decepticon Death Fortress. So, I guess that's it for this episode. Next time, uh, we shall explore the ocean and not worry about oxygen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.